Hey friends, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to week 20 of the Cooldown Catch-Up, a weekly catch-up of what went down last week in training. I'd have to say this week was characterized by just not being able to find the balance. This week was supposed to be the largest week of this final block, but I just couldn't seem to find the time or effort to fit in all of the runs I needed to this week. While I do have a really nice schedule and work only three days, Monday through Sunday, they are 12 hour shifts. So it's really hard to try to get anything done on those days. I only have about two hours of free time every evening before I need to be back in bed. So it's really hard and tough to fit in those runs. So this pretty much lends to me needing to run on every single day off. And if I happen to skip one of those, it is really hard to fit that in on the days I work. Fitting in 50 plus mile weeks is really tough to do with a full-time job. And so this is a huge, big shout out to all of you runners out there who are doing this while working full-time jobs and as it just is a passion and a hobby. Enough woe is me, let's get to it. The cool down catch up starts right now. Jacob came up to do an interview for an upcoming film that I'm working on throughout this summer on his pursuit to run the Leadville 100. Before he jumped in front of the camera, we decided to go and do his scheduled workout of one hour and 15 minutes with hill strides. Okay, out here, Monday, Memorial Day, doing one of Jacob's workouts. We did a four mile warm up, five by 20s uphill. As you can tell, we're both Fucking cooked. Alone, yeah, that was good workout. It's really fun to do hill strides with a friend because usually I do them alone. And Running's it's really fun, fun to push one another during those intervals. And now I can kind of see that I'm never really pushing myself to my hardest limit. And in true Taylor fashion, I suggested that we do a cool down on running uphill and then back down. The workout totaled 7.66 miles in 920 feet of elevation gain. Tuesday, I worked and I took a rest day. Wednesday in Silver Plume, going up the Argentine Central Trail. I uh, got 14 miles on the docket today. So up and down is about seven. So the plan right now is to do two laps on it. I felt really good on this run and really enjoyed the trail. It ends up hooking up with some four wheel drive roads. I've said it before, but just, I love where I live because this is a totally new trail for me. Never been up here, it's awesome. That along with the trails, but also it's, I'm on like a jeeping road right now. So huge, vast network of jeeping roads. So a lot of fun. You mean, endless miles of unexplored trails you know five minutes ten minutes from my door absolutely love colorado absolutely love where i live and right on the way back down on lap one uh gain was not anywhere near what i what it said on the mapping software only about a thousand feet but i went four miles up four miles down and then i'll just do half the distance I need to do back uphill and go back down. I've got runner's brain, can't do that right now. Math is hard. Lap two, there's a fox and he just keeps running up the trail. We've been doing this for about a half a mile. He just stays about that far ahead of me and he just keeps running up. Super cute. Trail friends, baby trail friends. Oh, at the top of Second climb up that Argentine Central Road. Only 1,800 feet, not 3,000. I don't know what I was seeing, but that was super cool with the fox. I mean, it was probably about a half mile. I would run, I'd get within 20 feet of him, then he'd take off, and then he'd get like, you know, 100 feet in front of me, wait. And we just kept doing that over and over again. It was kind of like a game. You could tell he was kind of playing. Uh, super cool. That was a really cool experience. Classic Colorado. Spring storm, love it. Rain on me, baby. I love that final mile of running down in the pouring rain. It was actually quite revitalizing. I ended up with 14 miles and 1,984 feet of gain on this run. Thursday, I woke up super tired and mentally drained, and I did have 16 miles on the docket. So I did head out for that, but it just wasn't in the cards. Thursday out on uh, 
Foley Hill Trail System, uh, five miles in. It's supposed to be 16 today. Pretty tired, just uh, legs feel heavy. Heart rate, breathing, it's fine. But uh, just the, I think the back-to-back -back long days, legs just are tired. But we'll keep going until I feel like it's too much. About halfway through my run, just over eight miles in, uh, second lap up and around the Floyd Hill Trail Network. Um, pretty tired today, like I said before. Just heavy legs, um, but trying to mix it up, go a different direction, see if the change of direction kind of makes it a little bit more engaging. So doing it in uh, counterclockwise this time. The trails up on Floyd Hill are mainly geared for mountain biking, but it really does make for some fun, flowy, and techie trails. Clap. Uh, I'm gonna be about two miles short, but I don't care. Pretty tired today. Legs are heavy, eyelids are heavy, brain's kind of heavy, kind of over it. Uh, if you have runs like this, I think it's that back-to-back -back larger days, but yeah, just not feeling it today. I'm uh, still gonna get over 14 miles, so you can't complain. Just uh, don't want to go back uphill because that's my only option to get uh, the next two miles is going back uphill a mile, so I'm done. I do find myself getting a little burnt out and feeling a little bit stressed trying to figure out how to balance life and running. Not the best feeling run, but once again, it is just deposits in the bank. I did end up cutting this run a couple miles short, but ended up with 14.42 miles and 2,662 feet of gain. Friday, I had to work, but I did intend to go home and get some miles in, but dinner and my bed won that internal battle. So I ended up taking the day off as a rest day. Saturday, I had a little bit later start for work than usual. So I decided to drag my butt on to the ever dreaded treadmill and get some miles in. And it turns out treadmills still suck. But I did get to kickstart my day off with an easy six miles and no elevation gain. What? Say what? Sunday, I took a rest day and that was my week. In total, I ran 42.13 miles, seven hours and 17 minutes and 5,575 feet of gain. Like I said, and just being transparent, I am feeling a little bit burnt out and overwhelmed these days, but next week is a new week and we'll approach it with a good positive attitude. Thank you again for tuning in. And if you don't mind, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, remember, adventure awaits.